Okay, it's day 87 of this yellow onion germination experiment. And you know, the foliage is starting to spread out. It's about, you know, 25 centimeters. And let's see here. This is bulb number one. It looks a little bit better, but uh, there's still some mold here. So as I lift bulb number one up, I smell this fresh onion smell. It smells really good. And you know, there's a little bit of uh, gelatinous stuff there. Not sure what that's all about. It's just residual hydrogen peroxide. Um, you know, dead dissolved mold in it, hopefully. So here's a closer look. Uh, some of these newer roots appear a lot more robust and the wounds are perfectly healthy looking. So yeah, the top of this peel that I'm touching right now, I'm holding this bulb is uh, kind of soft and the amount of biomass in the bulb in these layers is decreasing every day. And you can see some mold still trapped in there. Not too sure what I can do about that, except yet another hydrogen peroxide treatment. Maybe that would help a little bit. But you know, you can see new roots coming out. Um, I think there's been great progress. So this is the shoot system of bulb number two. The foliage is getting much longer, you know, I'd say this longest leaf, maybe 13 centimeters long, 14 maybe. And you know, there's um, still four shoot systems in my opinion. This, so this bulb looks a lot better than bulb one. And it's a lot healthier. You know, these roots, uh, this root ball is doing great. There's very little mold except in, you know, the same kind of fashion. Uh, you know, this root ball has all these dried peels and you can see a little bit of gray there so there's still a little bit of mold day 88 of this onion germination experiment and as you can see there's kind of a goo and I think that might just be a sticky you know uh, thick fluid viscous fluid coming out of the wound that I created maybe the inner layers have kind of a thick fluid to them but I don't really like the looks of this, so I'm just going to kind of wash it off and give this another hydrogen peroxide treatment. It looks a lot better than it did before. I smelled it just now and, you know, I don't like the thought of putting my nose up to a source of mold, but it has a really nice onion smell to it. Bulb number two is doing great. I mean, there's still some you know, white mold there. I think there's some mold under this layer peel here. I'm going to peel that back. Okay, it's day 90 of this yellow onion germination experiment. So the foliage is fairly long and bulb number two is becoming very robust as well. It seems to have even broader leaves, although they're shorter. So what I did is I just poured out the water in here and I replaced it. I washed everything with hot water. So this is the underside of bulb number one. You know, the outer layer is becoming, um, you know, I wouldn't say soggy, but that's kind of what it appears to be. You know, it's, so basically that hard plastic is sinking into the outer layer of the onion. So bulb number one upon close inspection has a very nice fragrant onion smell. However, there, there's still some mold there, but you know, it's a case of ready or not, here I come because I don't think I can wait any longer for this. So one of these new outer leaves has turned yellow. I think that's a sign that this needs either soil or a good hydroponic solution. So I'm going to give hydroponics a try. So bulb number two is far bigger. It's a lot more robust, but it's also starting to get a little soggy on the outer layer. And you know, the bottle's imprinting onto it. So as you know, bulb two has far less of a mold problem. It's very fragrant to the smell. And you know, the bottom is pretty green as well. This root ball is as clean as I'll probably ever get it. So I'm ready to start hydroponics too. So I bought two things today. One of them is this uh, watering can singles, all purpose, you know, a uh, water soluble plant food from miracle Grow. So it comes in packets and I'll just dissolve one of these. And then I also read online that 
It's a good, good idea to add in some Epsom salts too. Well, this one just says Epsom salt. So uh, I don't know if it'll be missing any, but it has magnesium sulfate. And you know, plants need a lot of trace uh, minerals and salts to do well. So this miracle Grow Singles is basically, so miracle Grow Singles has the three main ingredients plants need for growth which is nitrogen in a usable form, uh, potassium in a usable form, and let's see, what else does it have? Um, phosphorus. Okay, so I took out one of these miracle Grow Singles packets, and this is supposed to go in a gallon, and I've heard recommendations that, you know, you should have slightly less than the recommended amount, maybe only half in order for hydroponics to work well, but I can adjust. If I see the roots turning brown, I can always dilute the solution and save the day. But for now, you know, these are two two liter bottles and that's basically about a gallon, I think. A gallon is about four liters. So I'm gonna dissolve this packet, you know, half and half between these two. I'm not gonna be really uh, scientific about it and measure everything out to the last gram, but here goes. So it kind of has this uh, turquoise powder in it. It's uh, probably hard to see on camera, but uh, let me see. It only fills up to about here when I open it, so if I kind of pinch off halfway and pour the rest in, that should be good enough. Wow, so that's a very pretty blue color right there. I can do that with the other one. Okay, so it's dissolved in hot tap water. I'm no longer using distilled water. And, well, I never have for this experiment, but I just realized you can't see this on camera, so this is what it looks like. Basically it's all uh, gathered at the bottom. And I'm going to fill these all the way up to have the right concentration and also so that the roots will touch, but before I do that I have to add in about one tablespoon of these uh, Epsom salts to divide among these four liters. So again I'm going to have to kind of approximate and get a tablespoon. I have here and drop half in here and half in here. Okay, so I opened it by cutting the top of the bag. I got the spoon in. And there's this large crystalline Epsom salt. So let me just put this in the sink and make sure it doesn't fall over and cause a huge mess. And I'm gonna divide it roughly equal among these two. So it's really hard, but this is just an estimate. Okay, so we have what we need, and all I'm gonna do is fill these bottles up with hot water. So there you have it. I filled these up with hot water so that the roots are barely touching. And I hope these things respond really well over the next few days and start really growing their root systems in earnest. Okay, it's day 94 of this yellow onion germination experiment. Can't believe it's been almost 100 days, but compared to my other documentaries, you know, these have just been sitting inside a refrigerator in the dark. And this bulb started germinating a long time ago. So this is bulb number one, and you can see the roots have gotten longer in this hydroponic system and let's take a good look at them up close so at first glance everything looks pretty good you know the roots are getting longer but at the same time there's uh, some mold along the rim you know it just seems inevitable that these layers start rotting and maybe that's just the way it's supposed to be so I don't know if I can keep this up you know should I just bury these in dirt um, I think yeah dirt based approach is sort of inevitable, especially as the bulb gets uh, used up completely and, you know, just completely shrivels up and this just becomes purely plant. 
you know, as opposed to having this bowl be around for a long time, uh, which I don't think it will be. So this is the shoot system of bulb number two. It's a little bit more robust now, a lot longer. And you know, at this point it seems kind of like four bundles of green scallions, you know, uh, green onions that you'd buy in the supermarket. In appearance, um, there's some mold growing here. You know, the mold problem just isn't anywhere as near as bad as in bowl number one. And that's been the case from beginning to end, so been saying since the beginning if anything survives it's going to be this one the roots look way healthier so you know the other side is uh, pretty clean as well but if you look close here there's some mold um, this is just an ongoing recurring problem so maybe these would be better off in dirt you know I haven't decided yet I'll let these go in hydroponics for a few more days before I decide their fate you know, the top of this bulb is just chock full of airspace. You know, the outer layers of this onion are feeling sort of like some kind of leather. So going back to bulb one, there's just so much mold here. I can kind of see it in a huge ring pattern. Um, I've gotten in through this wound. 